You're afraid of chicken gumbo? I think you mean chicken gunya virus, although I think it's a great idea that you've got some good mosquito screening. I think you're doing a good job. Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones, the disaster doctor of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 500 articles on medical preparedness for good times or bad. I'm also the co-author, along with the amazing Nurse Amy, of the number one Amazon bestseller in survival skills and safety first aid, the Survival Medicine Handbook, and the designer of the brand new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, a great way to get the whole family together and see who succeeds even when everything else fails. You know, with all the news focusing on the Ebola epidemic in West Africa, we forget that there's a pandemic running rampant on this side of the Atlantic right now. The chikungunya virus has traveled from Africa and is ravaging the Caribbean and Latin America. In this hemisphere, the number of cases has reached 729,000 in 34 countries or territories since last December. Compare this to six to 7,000 cases of Ebola in the same time frame. Chikungunya, an African term meaning that which bends up, is a viral illness that's not fatal, but causes excruciating pain in joints as well as a high fever. The pain is reminiscent of severe arthritis and can last for weeks, months, or even years in some cases. Unlike some other viruses, like enterovirus D68, which can be without symptoms in many cases, the majority of those affected with the chikungunya virus will suffer the effects of the illness. Other symptoms besides joint pain and fever include headache, nausea and vomiting, red eyes, sensitivity to light, and leg swelling, and we don't yet know what causes some of the above symptoms. The virus isn't brand new, it was first identified in 1952, but it's thought in hindsight to have caused outbreaks since the 18th century. Epidemics of chikungunya have been reported in the regions of the Indian Ocean, Africa, Asia, and also some Pacific Islands. Currently, most of the U.S. cases have been in Florida, although cases have been documented from Texas to New York. Chikungunya is an example of a mosquito-borne disease with the common Aedes aegyptus species and the more aggressive Asian tiger mosquito proven as vectors. Vectors are agents that transmit the virus to humans. Monkeys and apes were the original reservoirs of the virus, but it's thought to have traveled to this hemisphere through rats and other rodents. Since it's new to the area, few people are immune. This has caused the cases to skyrocket in number to their present levels. There's no known cure or treatment other than pain relief and fever control through medications like acetaminophen or Tylenol. The disease is prevented by good mosquito control and the areas where air conditioning is widely available seem to be less effective. Diseases like chikungunya, while not fatal, can cause economic damage in the form of lost work days. 13% of businesses in the Dominican Republic, where there have been 400,000 cases, have reported absenteeism due to the illness. The strain on medical facilities is also significant with many hospitalizations in the acute phase of the disease. CDC recommendation CDC recommendations include caution for those who travel to the Caribbean or Latin America, especially arthritis sufferers, those with chronic illnesses such as diabetes or heart disease, the elderly, pregnant women, chikungunya may possibly be passed to the fetus, aid workers, missionaries, and other long-term travelers, and people whose travel involves large amounts of time outdoors. With the large amount of Americans traveling on vacations to the Caribbean and Latin America, we can expect more issues with the chikungunya virus in the near future. This has been Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Hey, have you put together the medical supplies you need to deal with medical issues in times of trouble? Check out our entire line of medical kits at store.doandbloom.net. If you can put together this quality of medical kit on your own, do it, lazy bones, but otherwise get one put together by a real doctor and nurse practitioner. And don't forget our brand new DVD on pandemic preparedness, hot off the presses.